Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. This is episode 202. Yes, 202. Super pumped. Today, I'm talking about you have permission. You have permission. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. Listen, if this is your first time watching me, I want to welcome you. Put one in the comments so I know this is your first time so I can welcome you uh, appropriately. If you're an OG member like Marilee on Instagram, come on, give me an OG in the comments. Facebook, come on in the room. Um, to all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, happy Tuesday, y'all. Y'all are giving me a little break right now. I want to publicly welcome uh, Deneen, Rochelle, and Latricia folks who just joined my inner circle. Shout out to you. That is my VIP six-month coaching program. Shout out to you. I see you, OG, Marilee, in the comments. Those of you on Facebook, come on, coming in the room. Listen, this is on my mind today. It's been on my mind for a few weeks as I've been... Um, just coaching a lot of new people. I've been doing these things called fast track sessions. If you want to learn more about that, just leave me a comment, shoot me a DM. I'll tell you more. Um, Facebook, the link is above. And what's been cool about it is I've been having, I've had a chance to meet a lot of new people to my world. Not like, not like my um, people who I've been coaching for a long time, like totally new people to me. So maybe you've found me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever. And so I've had, I do these 90 minute fast track sessions and it's been really awesome because I don't know these actors from Adam. So we're really starting with a fresh slate, I have fresh slate, I have fresh eyes. And what I'm finding and have found is there's still a, um, an apprehension um, when it comes to, and a timidness, when it comes to really going there. Uh, so I got to give a shout out to Raven Drummer. Shout out to you who's been doing her Actor Minute Mondays and shout out to one of my clients, Marilee. Hey, Marilee, who asked the question. I actually got answered live on her Instagram. If you don't follow Raven, you should. She's the casting uh, director for Tyler Perry. And she talked yesterday about um, just having fun in auditions and I, she, saying like a big difference she notices some actors who are not in the Southeast who are in bigger markets is that they just have more fun and auditions are just like another audition, another, um, another thing to do. It's just part of the job. But I wanted to take it a step further tonight because as I'm coaching people, I'm seeing, I'm seeing it on a deeper level too. So it's not just, Oh, you know, for those of you who are not in major markets, and I know I have a lot of clients have in South Africa, the UK, Atlanta, Boston, New York, right, Baltimore. So I don't think it's just about, it is about you not having the repetition as much as maybe an LA actor does or a New York actor does. But also beyond that, there I, I feel like there's three fundamental things that I've been seeing with some of these new, um, actors that I've been coaching. So I'm just going to share what I'm I'm seeing without calling anybody out. Hey, Elisa, I see you. Right? And if you're listening to this on the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast, hello. So number one is the fun. I want to encourage you all to have more fun. I talked about this. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should, at actress Christine Horn. And there's a video on my IGTV channel um, and I'm in my feed about using your imagination. And it sounds so basic, but at the core of it, that is something that a lot of you are not doing. Um, and I just, there's a great video. I'm not going to recap that video, but just go to my Instagram and watch it if you haven't. Hey, Orlando. Right. So, Hey, Will, Hey, Wilson. I see you guys, Miss Fontaine. I see you. Right. And so really inviting the fun into this. Like, yes, there is a business of, of the show, right? There is show business with the marketing and this research and all that and rejection. But at the core of it, there is the fun. And if you don't find the fun, this shit is going to like drive you crazy. Excuse my language <laughs> because it just doesn't get easier. Another big thing I saw, if you're just joining, I'm just kind of giving a recap on some things I'm seeing in these fast track sessions I'm doing with new, when I say new actors, I mean new to me. And these actors have been experienced, actually. Been in the business 15 plus years, some five years. Another big thing a lot of you are missing is the use of your space. 
So this episode is called You Have Permission, okay? And if you're new to Actors Daily Bread, come to my YouTube channel and binge. Why is my Instagram video pausing? Not sure, I'm gonna keep talking. Um, using your space, what I'm seeing over and over again in your self tapes, and please know when I say self tapes, I also mean in the room. Because if you're, if, you're if you're used to me or if you're new to my world, any tip I give you for self-taping is basically an in-the-room tip as well. Why? I know I'm a broken record to my clients because there's nothing but a camera in the room. So that's all we're really working, right? Um, so you're not using your space right? I don't see the hospital. I don't see the bedroom. I don't see the hallway. I don't see the street. Like I do not feel it. Why? Because you don't feel it and you don't see it. You haven't created it in your mind's eye first. Okay. That is a big, big thing. And I can tell because you're stiff <laughs> and what keeps coming up when I'm coaching actors, they say, I didn't know I can do that. I could do that. Have you ever heard yourself say, have you ever been coached? And they're like, give you a, a tip. And you're like, I can do that. I want to know who told you you couldn't. I really truly believe this is some crap we made up for ourselves as actors. Hey, Ernest, right? We've made this up. I don't ever remember. I promise you. Outside of certain casting directors saying, don't read the stage directions, which I'm going to address in a second. Outside of that, if we real... No one has ever been like, Christine, whatever you do, don't create your space. Christine, whatever you do, make sure <laughs> that we don't know where you are. Like, no one has ever told me that. No one ever said, you're not allowed to pause your recording to sit or stand. Man, that'd be blowing people's minds. Like, phew. they'd be like, I don't know, how do I go from standing to sitting? And I'd be like, just stop your tape and then, like, start it again and do a crosses off. And I see minds like, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm being light about it, but I'm like, who told you that you couldn't? You're truly making it up in your mind that you can't, or you just don't know how. So that's a different thing. And I want to give y'all, I've been trying to give y'all a heads up. Hey, Stephanie, I'm trying to give y'all a heads up. January 1st. Get your coins together because I'm opening the doors to book more TV. It's going to be a five-week course with me that's live. So just know right after Christmas, y'all going to start getting some invites to take a class and you're going to really want it. But I'm go I go deep into all this stuff. So that's another thing. Use your space and understand that no one put the, put the, the reins on you except you. And I want you to sit in that. Listen, if you don't have my book, Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet, all the mindset stuff I talk about in this book, that's what it really comes, comes from. You've built up so much crap in your head and in your mindset, and you're telling yourself stories, but we have, a power, we have the power to change the story. No one told us. Now, you might have worked with a coach. I said, don't do that. Well, then... If what you've been doing with that person isn't working for you, try a new approach, right? My last tip, well, second to last tip, I'm going to give you a bonus. Read, R-E-A-D, read. Reading is fundamental. Read, 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 read. In these sessions I've been doing, and again, I'm picking on some of my recent clients without saying their names and in the best possible loving way, you guys know. You're not, re you're just not reading the whole script. And it could, I don't care if it's just two pages or one page, y'all are missing clear things. <laughs> shout out to, I'm gonna give shout out to Stephanie Green, one of my OG clients. You know, sometimes we coach together and she'll be like, Christine, no, I'm coming with you because I don't want to miss nothing. It, what, what am I supposed to do here? Let's do this. Like, because she, at this point, she's so trained, like, don't miss a beat. Don't miss nothing. If it says Linda walks in the room or Linda runs in the room out of breath, why are you starting your tape standing still calm? Like basic stuff. That's how I know for sure. No one said you couldn't do that. You're just not dissecting the work deep enough. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, 
And a bonus tip I'm going to give you tonight to sit in your spirit. And listen, I know it's December, but we ain't out for the count yet. There's still things casting. And this is the perfect time as we get ready to wrap this year and brainstorm and dream and visualize our new year. This is the time to start getting really honest about, ma'am, take a look at the year in review. What ain't been working, boo? What has been working? Let's do more of that. But if it hasn't been working, let's adjust that and reevaluate that. Okay? I think my biggest tip for you too tonight, this is all about permission. Again, I'm going to just say it to you. Um, uh, Mr. Ambition 25, the book is called Playing Small. Just click the link in my bio. Don't do it now because I don't want you to leave. But when this is done, just click the link in my Instagram bio and there's a link to the book. It's on Amazon. And guess what, you guys? I was going to wait till later to announce this. I recorded the audiobook for this book. And let me tell you, if you enjoy hearing me talk, you're going to love this book. And it's a quick listen. The book is a quick read, but the audiobook is only like two hours and like six minutes. Audible, because I wanted it to be on Audible. I wanted it to be legit, right? Because I'm an Audible purchaser. They denied my book, honey, since August. It takes them like two weeks every time to approve the book. They listen to every single audio. They keep, they rejected me over and over and over and over again. Y'all been asking me, where's the audio book? But they just sent me the email yesterday saying that it's available on Audible already. And in two days, it should be available on Amazon and wherever else. So I, I, when I, once I, I wanted to check all the links before I made a big announcement, but since y'all here with me, and if you want the audio version, and you might just want both of them because I was reading the hell out of this book. <laughs> I did it right after Bronze Lens Film Festival, for those of you who were in Atlanta with me. Um, so I'm gonna give you one more tip, but let me come to some of these comments. Thank you, Marilee, I'm so excited. Like, I feel legit. I listen to Audible all the time, and I'm like, my book is there with everybody else's book. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna come to some questions and then I'll give you one more final tip for tonight. Um, Miss Fontaine, what changed? Honey, I don't know. I left that, I kept forwarding that to my producers. It's, it was gibberish to me. It was like the RBS bubbles, 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 blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I was like forward. <laughs> I'm saying a prayer like we would get approved. Six times we got denied. Six. Um, Orlando asked, have a, um, oh no, this isn't the question, I guess. Have an in-person tomorrow. Action says climbs from lead Jeep. Lead Jeep. What's a lead Jeep? You mean a car? Climbs from lead Jeep. How can I do that? Please update me. What is the lead? I may be reading this wrong. Jeep. Is it just a car? A Jeep car? <laughs> I hear she will be putting me on tape, so I will just jog and frame. Please, please expound. Have a action says climbs from lead Jeep. Please expound on that, and I'll be happy to uh, give you a, t a tip. Um, that's D. Lou. I'm in LA. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in Los Angeles by way of New York, by way of Atlanta. But now I'm in LA. Come back to Instagram. You're a sergeant. Are you, Orlando? Just tell me the script. Are you are you supposed to be coming out of the car? Are you supposed to be coming out of the car? I'll turn this camera around. We'll do it now. Um, I'm going to come back up to Instagram. I love your questions, you guys. Thank you for the love on my book. And hey, you guys, if you have the book, please leave a, a review. Um, Will, Wilson L says, I'm always so serious during auditions. Now I know to have fun. Why are you so serious, though? What you so, what you, you mad at auditions? What you serious? What you so serious for? Unless the character is serious. Like, think about it too. When you walk in a room, people want to work with who they know, like, and trust. So I'm a big proponent of showing up to the audition and, and especially if it's an office that doesn't know you, like, I, I kind of show up in character. I don't, they never really get to meet Christine. You know, maybe at the end of the audition when they want to small talk, I try to say small talk my New York small talk toward the end <laughs> um but you know you got to read the room but again this is fun that's what I'm trying to push on y'all for 2020 we having fun up in here um saw that saw that 
uh, Mr. Ambition for self taping. Is it ideal to have a setting or better in front of a solid backdrop? Oh, no, 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 honey. We just, it's always a, you don't, this, we're not making a, no, just a backdrop. I'm gonna turn my camera around for you on Instagram so you can see it. Just a backdrop. See, that's my gray backdrop. I know you didn't get to see that Facebook, but I think y'all already know that. No, no, no. All just a bait. You need to get my self tape mastery. I believe that link is in my my uh, bio. Um, you need to get that five part series. Let me come back to Orlando. Maybe you have helped me out. Yes, coming out of the Jeep. So Orlando, Orlando on Facebook is asking. He has an audition tomorrow in person. Ooh, callback. Hello. Come on, two callbacks. Come on, two callbacks tomorrow. I always keep two screens on. Yes, two callbacks. Okay, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. So, if you have an audition where you're coming out of the car, there's going to be a chair in the room. You just hop out the chair. That's it. Take ownership of the room, Orlando. That's another big thing for all of you. Take ownership of the room. If there's a chair in the corner, take the chair, bring the chair to the mark. And if the whole scene is not in the car or in the chair, it doesn't matter. They will, they will adjust for you. Why? Because you take, you're taking ownership of the room. Don't ask permission. That's why I'm like telling you this whole, this whole episode today is called You Have Permission. Don't ask permission. You have it. There's a chair in there. Okay. Jumps out the Jeep because the whole scene is not in the Jeep, right? Um, Sergeant climbs from the lead Jeep rifle aimed at a group of migrant workers. Hallelujah, right? So you bring the chair over, you get to the room. Excuse my uh, sweatpants, guys. You come into the room. Yeah, yeah, hi. Uh huh. Okay, they're gonna slay you. Okay, you're gonna bring. I'm just gonna bring this chair over. I'm gonna start here, right? Um, and then you can let them know, hey, I'm gonna start here and then stand up. And it's not permission. It's just alerting you. I'm gonna start in the chair and stand up so that we the camera operators prepared to do this. Now, if you do this timid, this don't work. Y'all be like, uh, is it okay if uh, <laughs> I move the chair and then maybe I stand? No, no permission. All right, just move the chair. I'm gonna start in the chair and then stand up for the scene. Now they say, oh no, no, that's not necessary. You can just start from this gun part. Then that's different, but coming with an idea. Some of y'all are afraid to make strong choices. You just have to make a choice. It's like trying to get a girl number. Uh, can I possibly, what was that comedian? Uh, could I maybe uh, get your, uh, like, no, nah, like, can I get your number? This is what I'm gonna do, right? So you have here, hop out the chair, boom, boom. I'm so my mother right now. She's so New York, boom, boom. She'd be like, I put the runners down, boom, boom. I hope that clears, <laughs> I hope that, um, clear that up for you. <laughs> well, that's for all of you. Y'all gotta just go for it. Don't ask for permission. All right? And break a leg tomorrow. Come back to these um, questions. What's up, Claudius? One of my other Inner Circle members. Shout out to you. Um, Merrily asks, and if you have a question, I can give you a little more, more time tonight. Prince is acting okay for the moment. Uh, Merrily says, outside of work being very successful out there in LA, do you love it out there? Um, I like I like LA. I like LA. I like LA. Um, what I love, Marilee, is the air of possibility. <laughs> and I like the weather. Um, I miss my family. It's extremely lonely at times. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, honestly, where you know how people have their nine to fives and they travel and they move their family to work because you know the, the husband or the wife has the better paying job and they just go there for the opportunity you learn to love it because hey you're there that's where the opportunity is for you i made a decision look i'm from new york i wasn't about to go back to new york y'all can keep that snow born and raised in it went to school and all that snow and in the, in the, on the bus i'm good <laughs> um so it's like I'm making the most out of being here. But I also, you know, I got to, when I was on Lion King, I traveled to almost all the, all the states, you know, and, and abroad. So maybe Denver, I like Denver too, but Denver ain't got the work that LA has. So LA it is. So I hope that answers your question. 
All right, all right, and let's come back to Facebook. Any questions? Orlando got his audition together. So okay, let me give you the let me give you the, my last tip today. So we talked about not not asking for permission, and I'm just telling you that you have permission. So I don't want to see anymore. Um, and y'all know I just I just um, <laughs> Claudia says yes. I agree. All auditioning is like trying to get a date. <laughs> Marilyn Cortez says she calls her auditions interviews and some people call them appointments, whatever it works, whatever you need to make it work for you in your mind, do what you need to do. Just make it work for you. Make it work for your mental. I don't care what you call it. You know, you can call it a shindig for all I care. I got three shindigs tomorrow. Like I don't care. Whatever's gonna make you feel comfortable and confident and short ready to do. Um, that's D L where should i start trying to get into acting you must be new to me welcome but you must be new to me so i need you to click the link in my bio i need you to go to my youtube channel you can also shoot me a dm i have plenty of programs paid and unpaid that you can benefit from but you need to just go ahead and binge me real quick and and get started there because it depends on what you want to act in you might want to do tv film theater i need to know a little bit more so feel free to shoot me a dm and i'll take care of you okay uh, awesome. So good to get to know you guys. All right. Let's see. Okay. So let me give you my final tip for tonight. Um, I just want you all to be freer. I'm going to shout out. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but I have several clients who tell me often, man, when I go to commercial auditions, they're so easy. There's no stress, right? I wish I could bring the no stress that I have for commercials to film and TV. I don't know why, I don't know what the block is. You see with commercials, it's so funny, and I was gonna, I'll be talking about this in my program when I book more TV program in January, but I found the opposite. So like these two callbacks that I was saying I have for commercials, which is funny because I'm, learn, I'm having to learn to, to reel it in, right? So my problem is, I'm bringing Viola Davis vibes to a commercial. Honey, they don't want that. Every time I see a commercial, I saw a commercial recently, last night for something I had a callback for, and I was giving tears and buckets and oh my God. Like I was going in like it was theatrical. And when I saw the final product, the woman that they chose for the mother was so beautiful. But honey, she wasn't crying. She didn't give no tears. But the thing was like, I'm so used to telling you guys, what was step, step three today? Read read everything if it says if it says she breaks into tears or she does in the and on tv they want to see the tears honey they otherwise they wouldn't put it in the script so when you say that for commercials i'm thinking that's what y'all want but commercials don't want that they just want <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they want tear face hashtag tear face and tv film they don't want no tear face who's calling me decline they don't want tear face in TV and film. So I'm so used to TV and film and booking that way. I have to tell myself for commercial girl, they don't want all that. They Viola's, keep Viola at home. They don't want that. Um, so my last tip for you tonight is pretend these auditions that you're doing, especially self-tapes, that they're like mini short films. And not in the way that someone on Instagram asked earlier about, do I use props and chairs? No, no, not like that. But in the sense of in your editing and how you create the space and how you fuse the story and how you don't just have to start where your line starts and stop right when your line ends, like telling a story. So those of you who are not good at editing, y'all need to get good at it. Again, I'll teach all this in my Book More TV course in January, so keep your ears open and your coins together, because don't be mad when I tell you that it's closed. But if you're not even good at editing, or if your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend ain't good at it, somebody gotta get good at it. You don't wanna have to pay somebody every single audition you have to go to a studio. I try to make sure you guys know what to do on your own in case you know, you're in a pinch, which is usually happening. I would love to see all of you who follow me and connect with my work to use December, January to get your shit together. 
<laughs> and I can't say that any nicer than that. Like use this time when it's slow. Yes, have family, have friends, rejuvenate yourself, set goals and intentions, but also set ways that you can be of excellence in everything that you do in every tape that you send, right? And stop asking for permission. Let 2020 be the year that you just go hard or go home. No more half-assing it, just getting it in at the last minute. Oh, it's all right, I'll send it in. No, let's stop that. I just, I have little tolerance for it. And then you ask why you're uh, <laughs> not, why, and you ask why you're not, why you're not booking the way you want to book. Okay? So I'm going to wrap this up tonight. Thank you for hanging with me. Again, this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 202. Remember, your four tips for tonight. A, you don't need permission. Just do the damn thing. Make a choice. Stand by it. Be confident. Everybody likes a confident person. That's why y'all follow me. Like, Christine, she's like, she knows what she's talking about. I could be blowing smoke up y'all, but I'm going to be confident and sell it. That's why when I used to wait tables back in the day, honey, I was the best server ever. Vegan talking about, oh, the roasted duck breast is amazing. It's just a drizzle of <laughs> I'd be like, it's I from across the room, you would see me, my fellow server coworkers would be like, there she go. Ain't tasted nothing. All I would need you to do is to describe it to me. And I'd be like, oh, the beef brisket. Oh, it just drizzled. It's been marinated <laughs> for 24 hours. And I would, it would just be hand gestures, honey. I just like, I'm going to sell you on this. I don't have to have ever tasted it. <laughs> But confidence will do it every time. Like, you got to believe in your dream. It's your vision, you guys. It's your vision. So, you know, you got to believe in it the strongest, right? Have an amazing night. Remember that... Let's <sighs> take a deep breath. Remember that you are blessed. You are gifted. You are loved. You matter. You have a gift that the world needs to see. You don't need to play small. That is why I wrote this book for you. It is literally a love letter to you, actor. No one gets, no one, no, I can't think of the word. Speak through me. No one benefits by you playing small. This is the year, this is the time of the year where we just, we are reflecting. We are reflecting. Just, just know that, just, I don't know, just make a vow to yourself. Like, this ain't no, well, I'm gonna go to the gym three times a week in January. You know, this is like, if this is your heart, if this is the thing that's burning inside your belly, if this is your passion, and the thing that, and I talk to you so many of you, you always tell me, guys, oh, it just feels like it keeps calling me back. It keeps calling me back. I try to walk away. It keeps calling me back. So if it's going to help, if it's going to take up this much of your energy and your life and your mental capacity, like, why not? Let's just do it and like do it to the best of our ability. Right? Have an amazing night. I love you all. You can catch this replay once this video ends and I'll see you next time. If you want to learn more about me or the work I do, just click the link in my bio or leave me a comment or shoot me a DM and I promise to get back to you. Good night, everybody. Night, Facebook.